This is mountain biking. This is mountain biking. Even this is mountain biking. But when the average person thinks of mountain biking, this is what they see. <sighs> then we gotta explain to them how it's nothing like that. So let's go over some misconceptions that a lot of people have about mountain biking. First, let's look up what exactly is mountain biking. Mountain biking, the sport or any activity riding a mountain bike, particularly off-road. Essentially what that definition tells me is, if you're on any kind of mountain bike and you're riding off-road, particularly on any dirt trail, then you're technically mountain biking. Most people think of mountain biking as a very dangerous sport, and honestly, it can be. Oh, shit! Yeah. But it can also be very easy, or shall I say, not as dangerous. There's lots of different trails from beginner level all the way up to expert level, and as long as you stay within your skill range, you should be good for the most part. But you will unfortunately crash and burn at some point. It's just a part of it, honestly. But minimizing the risk will definitely make it more manageable and help you progress in a more natural way. Now we've all been there. Well, maybe not all of us, but most of us. We've all been there where somebody told us, oh, I mountain bike and asked you if you mountain bike and we hit them with the old saying, I have a bike, but it's not that nice and it's super cheap. Now knowing what I know about mountain biking, the light goes off in my head and I say, oh, that's perfect because you don't have to worry about breaking an expensive bike. You can learn on what you already have. You actually have the perfect bike. Going back to the mountain bike and this dangerous part, I can totally understand why people would feel they need an expensive bike because they automatically assume that mountain biking only consists of this. Yeah, so this section right here is pretty cool too. When in reality, a lot of experienced riders will tell you they much prefer smooth flowy trails over the crazy gnarly terrain. And ironically enough, the smooth flowy trails, which are the most fun in my opinion, can be ridden on some of the cheapest mountain bikes and you can still have lots of fun. I'll be the first to tell you, I was horrible when I first started. As you should be, because you're new at the sport, you don't know much, and you're not good at something you've never done before. But I was terrible considering where I am now. I think I'm a pretty decent rider right now, but I don't think I'm a great rider. I'm just not as bad as I was before. Let me forewarn you, there will be times where you're the weakest link and some people won't want to ride with you because you can't keep up. Don't take offense to it, it just is what it is. But on the flip side, you will have lots of experienced riders who are willing to be patient and ride with you. And that's when you can take advantage and really start becoming a better rider just from following behind them. How can I be as good as you, Kim? How? Yeah. Um, just, just, yeah. all right, that's good. I can, I'll take that. Hey, I'm now a solid intermediate. One of the things I like most about mountain biking is how you can never take it for granted because even the easiest trails will humble you in a heartbeat. So there's no rush to perfect the sport because mountain biking is a never ending journey where you learn something new every time you get out and ride. Plus, in my opinion, it's not always about the actual riding or getting better all the time. It's about getting outside in nature, exercising, taking in all the beauty and fresh air around you, and occasionally, you might even see some wildlife.
Now this is one I still have problems with today, and that's you have to be a mechanic. Now I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about mountain bikes when it comes to fixing them, but I always try to ride with people who know a lot more than I do. And if I'm not able to ride with people who know about fixing bikes, I try not to go out too far on the trail where if something happened, I would have to go miles and miles to get back to the car. Now, knock on wood, I haven't had too many issues where it was a major thing that happened with my bike where I couldn't get back. I have had a flat tire where I was fortunate enough to have somebody there that could help me do it because it was the rear tire. And if you've ever tried to take off and repair the rear tire, you know how hard that can be, especially if you're a beginner. Yeah. So you repair a tube list by putting a tube in it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> you just push it and pull it out. It That's it? Out. Push it until it stops. <laughs> you gotta find a hole though. You gotta, you gotta find a hole. That's, it's the hole. <laughs> uh, wipe, wipe it, wipe it off, wipe it off. Right here? Yeah, make sure you find the hole. You push it all the way in. Push it all the way in. You gotta push this, punch it. All the way. I'm scared. All right, well, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Now pull it out. There you go. Now, as you can see from there, my mechanical skills are not great. But if you're around the right people who know what they're doing, they can really help you and get you that experience you need. So you'll be able to do it yourself in the future. So you will learn a lot once you get around some people who are experienced and are willing to help you, which is always a great thing because that's how you learn, by learning from others and trial and error, unfortunately. Mountain biking is a great sport where you can get outdoors and meet lots of cool people. I hope this video helped you understand that biking doesn't always have to be intimidating or scary. It could be lots of fun without risking your safety or spending lots of money. So whatever bike you're on and whatever trails you have, get out there, ride your bike, and have some fun. Yeah.